So I know you've heard about ChatGPT, but how does a teacher use it? And what do we type to make it work? Stay with me to see ChatGPT in action and get the 101 teacher prompts PDF so you can start harnessing the power of AI to save you time in all aspects of teaching. Let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we're going to go to chat.openai.com and we're going to create an account. So you'll just click sign up. You'll sign up with your email address or your Google account or Microsoft account. Create that sign in for chat GPT and then you'll be able to log in with it later and save your chats. So I already have one created, so I'm just gonna get logged into mine. So this screen will come up as soon as you get logged in. And then we're gonna go over to the PDF that I've created for you, the 101 chat GPT prompts for teachers. You can get a link to this in the description of the video so you can grab these prompts. Uh, for free with this PDF. So just some general chat GPT tips. Uh, we're going to want to be specific, like grade level, subject, topic, dates, times, locations, all that good stuff. Uh, get really specific so it can give you exactly what you need. Uh, also, chat GPT is conversational, so you'll be able to give it follow-up prompts in a conversational manner, and it will know what you're talking about based on previous prompts. Uh, so that's really cool. It's meant to be a conversation with ChatGPT. You're going to be able to save time with AI. So when you sit down, I want you to think, could ChatGPT write this for me? Uh, and then use its words as a springboard, right? We're not just going to copy and paste and use it completely. It's definitely a springboard to make your own. And then, of course, AI is not perfect. Um, so we are going to fact check everything that comes out of here. Make sure that it's exactly what uh, we would think or say to someone with its response. Uh, and just making sure that what it generates is true and what we want to say. Um, so again, it's just a great springboard. So we're going to try some prompts here. And these first couple ones are for uh, classroom activities. So let's just do this first one. We are going to generate fun trivia questions for a classroom game or activity. And I'm gonna bring that over here and you can just type in here. I'm just gonna paste right from our document. And I wanna generate fun trivia questions, uh, let's say about animal adaptations. Let's say that we just learned about animal adaptations or we just had a great virtual field trip about it. And now I want some fun trivia questions about them. So I just typed that in and uh, you can see that it's giving me these questions um, about animal adaptations. And then, of course, because I know it's conversational, I'm going to want the answers. So maybe as a class, we could talk about these fun trivia questions. Uh, and then I can say, what are the answers to these questions? And so here's the answers. Um, we could bring these in as bonus questions. We could bring these in as just fun topics for our students when we just got done learning about animal adaptations. Um, so that's pretty cool. Chat GPT knew exactly what we were talking about. It gave us the questions, but we also wanted the answers. And that goes back to being very specific. It's only going to give you what you want. We just asked for questions. <laughs> we did not ask for the answers. Um, and so we uh, asked for that in the second question and we got the answer. Um, let's do another one. Uh, we're going to generate a science experiment and let's have this generate a science experiment about volcanoes that uh, third graders can do. Let's see what it comes up with. Good. So you can see right away that uh, it looks like a lesson plan. Our objective is to create a mini volcano eruption using simple household materials. Perfect. Here's the materials you need. Here's the procedures. Here's the explanation of what it's exactly doing. And then extension activities. I mean, it's all right here for you. Uh, you want a science experiment on 
whatever you want it on, right? Type it in, tell it that's what you want it uh, to do. And then um, here is your exact instructions. This is how cool chat GPT can be for teachers. What is your objective? What are you learning about? Put it in there and it will give you uh, a great lesson. Uh, so that's pretty cool there. Let's go back to our prompts here. Let's grab another idea. Um, let's say that um, we want to do, we want to write a script, okay? Let's say that we want to do a short play with our students and there's 10 students in there that will have speaking parts. And we want a short script for a, a script for a short play with 10 speaking parts um, about our classroom or about helping a neighbor. Okay, so this could be great for social emotional uh, topics. And you can see it gives us the cast. We could hand those out to our students. And it's writing a script. We could take this and perform this or talk this through. Uh, this is great for ethical dilemmas that you could tell ChatGPT. Uh, it could be about bullying or cyberbullying. And then it writes a script about that. And we talk about it, you know, as a class. Uh, about what happened to the characters in this story as we acted it out, as we uh, narrated it. So that's an option. We're going to move on to the next page, which is about assignments. And let's go, let's do more of an uh, upper level option here. Um, generate a historical timeline for an event. So let's say World War II. So this is generating a quick timeline, um, year by year, it looks like, of the major events. So we could take these events and we could drop each of them, say, into a Google Slides presentation. And each date would have its own slide and each student would be responsible for explaining what happened on that important day uh, for World War II. So this could be a really easy collaborative uh, document and basically chat GPT already wrote our headlines for the teacher. They could prepare that, uh, get a date in on each slide, share with students as a collaborative document, and they're responsible for reporting on that specific date. That's just an idea of what you could do with this timeline. We could also drop it into a timeline creator and create a really great visual for our students. Um, but the main thing is, is chat GPT curated all of this information for us really quickly and that is what is really cool. Uh, so let's go back. We are going to, uh, we're going to simplify something. Let's simplify photosynthesis. Okay. Okay. So there's a really simple term of what it means. Uh, can you make this readable at a second grade level. Okay, photosynthesis is how plants make food. So we can see they change from process by which, and talking about bacteria and converting the light energy to photosynthesis is how plants make food. So that's really great. I can do an extension of this. I can say create a fill in the blank worksheet about this. And I can just say this because it knows I'm talking about photosynthesis. I didn't have to retype that. Okay. And here's our worksheet. And it did give us an answer key on this one. So that was helpful. I could use this as a quick check, uh, as an exit ticket, or it could be part of our test. Um, and I could even tell it, write 10 more questions about this. And it would. Uh, so let's, let's move on to the next one. And we're going to go down to the next page. Um, these are just handouts and materials, so information about things. And let's do, let's stay on photosynthesis. We want to generate a study guide about it. And generate a study guide and include uh, key terms. Okay, so again, I did not have to type, uh, you know, or tell it that I wanted a study guide about photosynthesis. 
It already knew because it's conversational. Here's the key terms. Here's some study guide questions. And, you know, if I wanted to get more in depth, I could tell it, you know, write this in bullet form. Um, it it kind of went more so key concept wise, you know, for this study guide, these key terms that only gave an intro, but I could ask it to give a paragraph about each of the key terms and it would write them. Uh, and that would be more of a, more of a study guide. Um, and it has a study guide questions there that we could easily use on a test, um, or as quick, uh, questions to ask as a formative assessment. Okay, let's keep going so you can keep seeing what it can do. Um, so these are all just handout ideas. And then we have communication ideas. So chat GPT can write letters for you. It can give you ideas when you're not sure what to say uh, about a specific instance, or let's say that you want to sound more professional, or you want to sound a little more fun, a little less professional, right? You can tell it what type of tone you want it to have. So let's write a letter to parents about, write a letter to parents about an upcoming carnival that we are having on, um, let's say May 10th at 2 p.m. And we could give more information, but I'm going to let ChatGPT just write it and see what they think we're going to have at our carnival. <laughs> so this is a letter to them that I could simply edit and copy paste onto a Word document. Actually, I would copy and paste it first, then I would do the editing. You're not going to do editing right in here. Uh, and, you know, if we aren't going to have balloon animals, then I'm going to take that out, right? So we're not just copying, and pasting and printing. We got to edit this. Uh, but it's a great start on what, what is going to happen. Uh, and we would edit it per our carnival, or we would put in the details in here. If I don't like a response that ChatGPT gives to me, so I could say something like, give this carnival a title with a space theme. So we could call it a galactic adventure, a space theme carnival. If I don't like that, I can say regenerate response and it will come up with a second option, blast off to fun. And you can see here that I can still go back to my first option and see it, but I can also see that second option. And I could say regenerate again and it will give me a third. Okay, so that's really cool too, that I'm asking the same question, but give me another option. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, or I can tell it more what I want it to be, more professional or, uh, you know, that tone or, you know, really any option. You just talk to it just like a general conversation. Now, one thing that we didn't do is we didn't go and do a new chat for every different topic. And I would suggest to do that. They're all just going to come up in your queue on the side here. Uh, just so chat GPT, when we're talking about a conversation and we switch topics, uh, going up to this new chat, it's going to tell it it's a new topic. We're not pulling any information from the past conversation. Um, so going up to new chat and creating a new chat uh, like asking it, um, how can I use technology? Let's say, I think this is one of them here for communication. How can I use technology to enhance communication with students and parents? So I'm not asking it to uh, write anything for me. I'm asking it for ideas. So it's saying use a communication platform, of course. And here's some options. Remind, Class Dojo, Edmodo. Perfect. Create a class website. Do video conferencing. Send those automated notifications and use social media. So if we're just not sure how to connect with parents or we're not sure about uh, any topic, it will generate ideas for you. So that is just really cool. Uh, this last part just gives other ideas that you can use chat GPT for. There's so many different options. Uh, and I just hope that it will give you some ideas about what chat GPT can do. And now you know how to use it really simple, type it in, have a conversation with it and be exact. So that's a little bit on how to use chat GPT. Remember it's conversational, so you're gonna keep it going on the same topic. You don't have to tell it 
uh, what you're referring to because it already knows what you've been talking about. And the more specific, the better you can be. Um, so share in the comments below the prompts that you use to save yourself time with AI. And please like and subscribe to this channel if you've received value from the video and make sure to get that free PDF. The link is in the description below. So grab that and we'll get that emailed to you soon. Thank you.